Broken down old keys. Key buttons that are cracked in half, rotten wood, eaten by rodents, or just abused by kids. Years of life in a school have cracked these keys in half in many places. This is bad. Don't worry, we can fix that with a little magic. Sometimes we can save the old key buttons. Sometimes we have to put in a new key button. To show you real quick, if an old key button cannot be saved, how one of these new ones can be put on. Well, check it out. There's not that much to it. You gotta take off the broken part, maybe with a blade, maybe even with a player plier sometimes. But you wanna make sure it's clean off at the edges, flush, so you have a surface to be able to glue onto. Take a set of key buttons, you gotta level them out. Check out the old creases, angle it out. Then take a glimpse of the keyboard, you're not crazy. It's supposed to have that angle to it. But you gotta see the hole, maintain the hole through the keyhole. Mark your ends, where you wanna saw it off. Mark the other side, if you want to. You can even mark yourself which way is up, which way is back, which way is the rear of the key, so you don't get confused how you want to exactly place the key button. Many times up is down, sometimes you want it to be just precise. So that sucker off nice and careful. Plan for a tiny bit of an excess. So that you can sand it down, Keep it exactly where you want to, to be flush with the key. I like to use hand tools whenever possible. Here's the one unfinished. You sand them down on one end, sand them down on the other. Yep, this is sped up so we don't have to waste your time. Yep, there she goes. Measure a couple times as you're sanding it, see how close you're gonna get. Before you glue it, measure it up several times. Be happy? Pretty happy. Very happy. There we go. Get some glue going on. Where's my applicator? Oh, yeah. I've got a handful of them. This isn't toxic. Matter of fact, if you cut yourself, put that on your skin. That'll hold you together. Apply one and the other, squeeze tight, get the position right, wipe off the excess glue right there, and then clamp it down, or even tape it down. If you can save the button, and you got all the pieces, just wanna do it like this. Glue up one side, glue up the other side, Put them together, then don't just leave it there. We want a perfect fit. We don't want a close, we want a good enough, we want perfect. To get it perfect, you have to come in somewhere close. Nobody's perfect. Get it in there. Take it out. Make sure we're good. We don't want any glue in the gaps. And then, then, the second time around, it's perfect. We've got glue everywhere. All in the right places. Now it's aligned. And I like to use a little masking tape because it comes off easy, because it holds it secure, and because you get control to the last second as you're putting the tape on. I can still tweak it and squeeze it into place just like a clamp.